Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Raggett and it's an updatey day because it's time, finally, after all this waiting, for Battle Cats Update 5.8. It is finally here and today we're going to be trying it out or at least looking at what it has in it and looking at some aspect of it. Obviously you'll see in the title of the video but I don't even know yet. So before we go straight into it, I'd like to let you know why I wasn't with the update video earlier. This is because I've had a terrible spate of illness, it's been horrible, and I'm off school as of today. I feel a little bit better, so most of the day is going to be revision, as always. But I thought hopefully I'll have the time to be able to make an update video because it's the update, and that's good and important. So, if we go into this... There are a number of things which can be acquired. So, version 5.8 has given us a rare cat ticket because, well, it's version 5.8. That's a pretty good thing to celebrate about. And if we go into the informational screen, we can see a list of things that are happening in the new update. There is a new Stories of Legend subchapter called Mousy Land, which we will actually be able to try because we're there on the Stories of Legend. There's some more three star and two star stages and four star stages can now be acquired for never ending cat story through to Sushi Island, which is going to be great fun. There are new true forms, neither of which I can get because they're Ubers that I don't have. And unfortunately, they haven't given a true form to Dioramas, even though it's the cat which really needs a true form the most out of any of them. And now there are new zombie outbreak events. So now they will appear in Empire of Cats chapter three and there's some new cat combos as you usually expect in an update and they've adjusted cat fruit drop rate on some levels and then given looks like quite a lot of buffs to different cats such as especially useful things like immune to freeze for angry delinquent cat and strong versus zombies to skeleton cat and zombie killer to hyper mr vegetable cat and on Woji cat all of which i have which is good so in true reggae style i have looked on the internet and pilfered a strategy from elichi to try out the first level of the new Stories of Legends subchapter, Mousy Land. Now the reason I'm doing this is so that hopefully I can win and feel like I've really got something out of this instead of showing you a part of the level and then immediately dying. But using the filter option, I found the zombie killer cats and here you have now Hyper Mister, Magic Cat, Lumber Cat as... I'm not sure it was before, um, was Free Zombies before, Kite Cat and Waitress Cat, which you had before as a zombie killer. But yeah, these ones are nice now that they've been added and will probably prove very useful in levels for people who don't have cats such as Waitress Cat, which I didn't have for a very long while. So now what we're going to do is go into the level and see how we do. So here it is, Mousy Land, with a big new flashing sign on it, which means, by the rule of Ragged, it must be exciting. So let's go into it, the 36th subchapter of the Stories of Legend, and the first level is Greeter at the Gates, and now we're going to, without further ado, go into it. So going to press attack, and into the battle we go. So, straight off, when we get into the level, we will be greeted by the enemy. So at least quite soon, as far as I can remember from the video. We've got a little bit of a combo going on, but this now is a new enemy. Now this is called Coffin Doge. And the special thing about Coffin Doge is that it doesn't burrow like quite a lot of zombies do, but it has infinite revives. So as you probably know, when a zombie enemy dies, it sort of becomes a little corpse in the ground, and then it comes back up again. This will do it infinite times, which is why, as per Alici advice, we've got Kite Cat, because it's now a zombie killer, and should be able to stop it from reviving. Because if we didn't have any zombie killer, we'd just literally be here forever. So we've also been greeted by a tacky who's shooting spiky balls of anger at us and behind him is a cheeky Nyandam. Now that's never a good thing. There's also a Zori, which is quite worrying. Quite a collection of enemies, can be quite difficult to deal with. But what we know quite well about these things is that what are known as Manic Pens or Manic Flying Cats can deal quite well with zombies. So we're just going to use this as a method bit of cat spam and a bit of this and the other strategy to do is to lure out tacky so we can abraham at it and kill it and then all we need to do is stack up pipe cats destroy the coffin doges and then cheeky nyanda so our hypermax manic flying seems to be doing quite a good job of destroying the coffin doges i'm proud of that i mean i say destroying temporarily disabling them because they will come back but when we've got a nice free space and the zori's gone 
we will go for some typical Reggae A Bahama timings to try and kill the Taki. But as you know, my A Bahama timings have never really been the best. So we're going to have to be very careful as to how we're going to do this. And I sound do A Bahama after the next Taki shot. So go, right. Go A Bahama. We're going to cat cannon Lion down so we don't get killed. I feel like we might anyway. Taki's behind them. And A Bahama's dead. That is not good news at all. I guess what we're going to need to do is keep going. Uh, I, I didn't... I mean, I should have expected that this would have happened. This is Reggae A Bahama timings, but still, that's put us in a bit of a sticky situation. We've got a bit of a problem here. Now our base is being destroyed, because Taki has irritatingly long range. And no, this isn't going to work. Okay, we're, we're going to try it again. So, looking back at the video, the mistake I seem to have made was not using A Bahama soon enough. We need to let the Taki come out in front of the Landam and then snipe it before we get into big trouble. Also, I completely forgot about my cats on this side of my slot, so I wasn't really using them to any good effect, so that was part of my problem. But when these Razor Cats and such are destroyed, we need to let Taki come forward, and before we got too many Coffin Doges, try and assassinate it. Now, I may have actually deployed too much meat shielding, which means that Nyandam's probably gonna cause trouble. Hopefully the Taki's fast enough, and we'll just come forward. But, we're going to try and deal with the Zori first. But I'm feeling like this is very similar to what happened before, which is quite worrying. But anyway, we'll, we'll go for it. We'll give it a go. And we'll try and keep enough monies to use our A Bahama. But hopefully, we can make Zombie Gory. There we go. Right. Come on. Come on. Go. Come on. Come on, A Bahama. Hit the tacky. Hit the tacky. You, you've hit it. That's not good enough, really, to be honest. Luckily, the Nyandam shot didn't kill A Bahama, and Taki's gone. Yes, more like it. Good shot, A Bahama. Right, so now what we should be able to do is do a sort of rinse and repeat. What we need to do is just work up our monies, and when the last Zori spawns after we destroyed that one, we'll use our Kite Cats and start killing the Coffin Doges. <laughs> Now might be a good time to start trying to do it. We're going to release our first Kite Cat and give it a go. Hopefully it will work. I remember the time when the Kite Cat wasn't especially useful, but now that it's got Zombie Killer, it'll be very useful for things like the Coffin Doges that otherwise would just stay there forever. Like Maths GCSE. That looks like the Zori's gone now. That's good news. We'll keep going for the Kite, even though I'm spending my monies on the wrong things. Hopefully, if we can keep up a stack, We'll eventually destroy the Coffin Doges, and then a cheeky Nyandam by himself is never too much trouble. Okay, Cat Cannon, you do that. It seems like the 5.8 update hasn't fixed the Ghost Cat Cannon, but there you go. Oh dear, Zori's right in the middle of my stuff. Borrowing always takes me by surprise. That, wow, that, I wasn't expecting that. How many revives does Zori have? It's usually, well, Big Sal was one revive, but I guess each zombie's different. I didn't really think about that, so the Zori might last longer than we thought it would. But you know, if we spawn the wrong things, Reggit, that's right. Kite Cat, that's the one. Hopefully, we'll eventually be able to destroy the Coffin Doges. But I feel like it's... Oh, that was a blue flash. I think that was a zombie killer moment right there. Well, it looks like we might be starting to kill the Doge Coffins then. That's good. Right. Good. Okay, that's, that's Zori completely gone now, I think. I saw its little spirit rise up in the air, which means that we should now be able to kite cat stack. Actually, quite difficult to say that. And outrange Nyandam, hopefully. If we keep doing this, the coffin doges will eventually be gone. And then that will be it. Then all we have is cheeky Nyandam, and that's the end of the level. Well, that seems quite reasonable. I think we'll just wait for a little bit in a, in a short time lapse. And there we 
go, it looks like Kite Cat has actually become a really useful cat. We've reduced the Coffin Doges down to almost none. Cheeky and I and Dan did just assassinate quite a lot of my cats, but now that we've only got one Coffin Doge left, once we've got that, I'm going to try and do some cheeky Reggae A Bahama timings and destroy the Nyandam. But as we all know, my A Bahama timings can be a little dodgy, but the good news is, is that because there are only a set number of Zoris that spawn, we're well past them, all we have to do is just eventually destroy the Coffin Doge, and that's it. That's pretty much the level R. So unless I do something really stupid, it should be quite easy to win. So we should be fine. Just patience is all we need now. Right, the Coffin Doge is dead. Let's go Abraham. see if we can wreck the guy. Again, that cat cannon wasn't me. It would be really nice if that was fixed, but whatever. Please, Bahamut, no! Why don't you hit the right thing? Please. Or is Cheeky Nandam just really buffed? Oh, he's gone. That's good. Must have taken out most of him then. And that's it. That is Greeter at the gates, I think, as long as we destroy the rest of the base. That's the level done, which is extraordinary for the Reggit, because remember that this is me, the noob of the Battle Cats community. But... It seems as if it's not dark web kind of difficulty, so it's mm, just your average Stories of Legends stuff. It's still up there in difficulty because even in the tutorials you need your crazed cats and stuff, but it appears as if it's not ridiculous in difficulty. It's actually just quite a nice level to play. I quite enjoyed that. So hopefully there'll be more to enjoy in Mousy Land in the future, which I might be doing in streams and such like that. So the next level would be rickety coaster which sounds very fun indeed so i'll be doing that in other videos or other streams and things but that concludes the first video of the update about the 36th sub chapter of stories of legend mousy lap i hope you enjoyed <laughs>